Oh, no, you nice. should tie your baby. Oh, Maybe you could have slept in today, buddy. Recently, Scripps News Grand Rapids introduced us to Anna, Luke, and little Paxton Florick. He's our walking miracle, absolutely. <laughs> Good job, bud. At 10 months, Paxton had a golf ball-sized tumor at the base of his brain and spinal cord. The cancer was rare. His prognosis was bad. Remarkably, he beat the cancer. His healing continues. Doing PT right now, but he does OT right now. He's doing feeding therapy right now. Mm -hmm. School two days a week. Because pediatric brain tumors and the treatments to fight it can impact how a child grows. They're developing, their bodies are developing. And when you put drugs and they can't go to exactly where they want to go, uh, you know, causes uh, problems and on their growth and their brain development and, and other aspects of their childhood. Dr. Parveen Raju co-runs the Children's Brain and Spinal Tumor Center at Mount Sinai, which provided us this video. Raju did not treat Paxton, but is part of a team from Mount Sinai and Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center that's found a new way to get anti-cancer medicine to a child's brain tumor. In the new research, scientists IV injected mice and used a way the immune system traffics white blood cells to sites of infection, inflammation, or tissue injury. They could get the drugs in smaller doses and target it specifically to the tumor. So all we're doing is essentially using something that the body already uses, the immune system, to get things where they want it to go, the immune cells. But now we're using that at cargo, basically the drug in a nanoparticle variation of that. They could get even more targeted with very low dose radiation. The targeting is important. Right now, patients need higher doses to get past the blood brain barrier. The barrier is like a castle wall defending the brain from disease causing pathogens and toxins in our blood. When the barrier is really tight, what you typically have to do is use much higher doses of drugs to get enough there. And usually what happens in that scenario is the body can't handle it. This study looked at the most common type of child brain tumors, but researchers think it could be a crucial step for other brain diseases too, like multiple sclerosis, stroke, or Alzheimer's. Raju thinks it will still be two to three years before the first clinical trial in children, but the hope is this discovery could lead to more patients like Paxton cancer-free and bouncing back. Lindsay Thies, Scripps News.